Hi, Donna Guest here, Creative Memories Advisor and Lazy Scrapbooker. I wanted to take a minute to show you one of my favorite seasonal items. As you probably know, Creative Memories is famous for our 12 by 12 albums with the durable book cloth covers, the strap hinge design that allows you to add more pages, and they lie flat and of course have their lifetime guarantee. But a few times a year, we're going to come out with something a little bit smaller for you. And those are our eight by eight albums. These are the perfect size for smaller projects, and it's a fast way to make a beautiful and meaningful gift for someone. So I wanna take a moment and flip through some of the eight by eight albums that I've created and give you a little inspiration and see what you can come up with. I know you're going to love them. So let's take a look. I've selected five of my favorite eight by eight albums for you. I know these look like the full size album here, but nope, these are eight by eight. So take a look and I hope you get some great ideas. First up, Disney. And no, this is not our full vacation to Disney. That is in a 12 by 12 album because there's tons of pictures. And please don't get too excited about these cover sets that you're going to see because they're all retired. The great thing about Creative Memories is that they're always coming out with some new designs for you every time they release the 8 by 8 albums. So these cover sets that I'm showing you are pretty old because they're albums I've already done. But take a look at what I did here. This is an autograph book. It was the perfect size. And it's for my son's first trip to Disney World on his fifth birthday. And he was so excited to meet all the characters and get their autograph. So this was perfect. And I did not take the entire album with me. I just took out the pages and I put them in a Ziploc bag and sealed it so it was waterproof because you know it rains every day when you're at Disney World at some point. So that kept the pages nice and safe. And I had several of the multicolored pins, the round tip pins. The fine tip wouldn't do. You want a big, thick round tip pin. And instead of a, just a black Sharpie, I wanted a photo safe pen, of course. And these come in all the different colors. And of course, Mickey Mouse had to have red. Pluto had a black one there. I love looking at these pictures. And so each character, when he would go and get his autograph, he would stand there and um, he would have a pen and an album page to give them. And then we kind of changed it up for the next year. You can see it's June of the following year, 2011 here. For this one, instead of taking the album pages with us, I took the, the Mac packs. Um, I believe they were called um, something a little bit different back then, but we had a Disney version of the Mac packs back then. And we've got several collections now that would be really appropriate, like Magic Awaits is perfect for this. And so this time, just had to take a little card and a pen and it was even easier. Awesome, so I hope you enjoyed that one. Next up, an adorable pet album. Now I did this one for my son. It's our cat Tabitha. Now she actually has her own 12 by 12 album that she so richly deserves, full of all the photos of her entire life. But this is my son's first experience with a pet. And because it was also his first experience with death when she passed away, I wanted to make an album just for him. And it really did help. It made things easier for him and understand it a little bit better. So this album was just for him. And I wrote Nathaniel's very own book about Tabitha, Your First Pet, Love Mommy. She, he was um, not quite five uh, when we lost her, but she lived a long and happy life. And this album was done with a little kit. It's so great when we have kits to make it easier, and I just love kits because they make it so fast. This was actually an 8 by 8 kit for babies, um, so it really worked well with when he was a baby here. And so it made it really, really easy. I would use these pre-designed pages and then make a little mat for the photo and use some stickers and things. But... Um, even if you don't have a kit for an 8x8, you can make your own with 12x12 kits with the papers. You can just cut it so easily with your trimmer, add some stickers and the embellishments, and it's just so easy to make fast pages. And then I just journal directly on the paper here. And if I didn't have a, a page that I used, I just cut the paper with, a, I, that was the tearing tool. I wish we still had that particular tearing tool. We have another one right now called the wavy tearing tool and made some mats. But these are, as you can see, really simple pages. I don't call myself the lazy scrapbooker for nothing. So really, really fast and simple pages. And again, it's about the photos and the stories. And oh my goodness, this makes me want to get a cat again. Preferably a red tabby. Okay, so super easy pages and beautiful photos. And if the paper's too dark to write on, that's when I just cut a little mat, um, you know, this, that matches and write on something a little bit lighter. I love that picture on the right. So it got a fancy page. And again, it's, that's when it's great to have a kid. If you don't, though, 
No worries, just cut out your paper eight by eight. Or even better, you could cut it, um, you know, maybe uh, six by eight to give you a couple of inches here, or maybe four by eight to give you half the page so where you can write directly on the page. Super easy pages with just a strip and a sticker. And that's it. Super easy album, but very memorable. Okay, next, my gold album. And this is a very unusual subject for an 8x8, eight eight, but I got this idea one year when taking down the Christmas decorations. So I created an album for our special ornaments because every year when we decorate the tree and when we take them down, I think about where the ornament came from, who gave it to us, and the story behind it. And so this was a great thing to take out, put on the coffee table during the holidays. For example, this was a gift from my first grade teacher and I love it and it's still on my tree. Um, so I had to write all of that there and my handwriting isn't it, is especially good in this album. I really tried hard, it usually doesn't look this good. But again, I'm focusing in this album on the stories. It's not about creating elaborate pages. I, they're pretty. I have a background paper here, and this was not done with any 8x8 kit, as you can probably tell. Um, one little sticker here in the journaling box, and that's it. I just used some lined paper, and I believe that's the color Spargo there to match these Spargo pages. And we have lined paper now. We did then, and we have it back again now. It just came out. And then um, a border here, kind of tuck the picture under there with some stickers. But it's all about the stories for this album. I wanted one picture of each ornament. Now, it's not every ornament on my tree, of course. That would be huge. But it's the ones that are special. And with this one, really special um, from my Aunt Lois, who we called Tootie, and my Uncle Ed and Aunt Pat, who gave us these beautiful ornaments that complement each other. And I saved the card. I always had the card. Every time I would take the ornament out, the card was in the box that it came in. And so I was able to save that. We had one of our showers when we got married was a tree trimming shower, so I got a lot of special ornaments that way. But again, it's all about the photos and the stories in this album. Um, this one, uh, I just did little punches and stickers. That's all you got here. Not a lot of decoration. But it just doesn't matter. It still looks great. And I'll tell you, I wish I knew how long it took me because it was not tough. It was a pretty easy, fast album to do, which is what I like. And this was done, um, I created the album uh, 2009, so this is quite old. And so the scrapbooking style is, you know, a little bit older where it's very simple, the older style stickers. But they still look good. But again, I can't express enough, write your stories. So I love this album. And of course, being a Creative Memories album, I've got the strap hinge. I can add more pages to this if I want to because we um, just put some Spargo 8x8 pages in there and add some more. Okay, this might be my favorite. I love the cover set. In fact, I used to have this one in another orange cover set. It just had a paisley design on it. And when we came out with this little album with the pumpkin design, I had to have it. So I took the pages out of the old one and got this one. I wish we still had this one. We don't, but you know, you never know what we're going to come out with. Okay, this is our Halloween costume album, or I should say this is my son's Halloween costume album. So he loves Halloween, and I do too. We love dressing up, and my husband even gets it on the act too sometimes. So this is so easy, and anybody can do this. And you can do this for Halloween. You can do this for photos with Santa. You can do this with birthdays. But an 8x8 is perfect. Do a two-page spread for every year, and you will go through this album and watch someone grow up. It's really fascinating. So here's his first Halloween. And again, I just used a little 8x8 paper pack for this album that we had a long time ago. I update this album every year. And so I've got a wallpaper here and I've got a border here with some journaling boxes on it. That's it. And I did what people call fussy cutting. It's kind of like cutting out paper dolls um, to cut a photo there. I usually do that once every year in this album because A, I enjoy it. <laughs> it's kind of fun. And B, um, it sets off a photo. And sometimes if the background's not that great, you can get rid of it that way. Okay, and this paper was perfect, I will say, because um, it was a Halloween theme. You have little spider webs here. But again, it's all, all about the stories and the photos here. And I just put, using our different letters that we have, and we still have ABC letters and numbers to put the year. And that's it. It's two pages per year. 
and you really do get to watch someone grow up again. For this one, I think, I didn't even take the lazy way out, surprisingly. Um, to create that border, I actually used the custom cutting system, and when I cut this circle, I cut a bigger circle around it into the paper and this photo that I was putting it on. It looks like a border. I don't know why I did it that way. I do it that way quite often, but honestly, it keeps some weight out of your album, and it you can kind of tell. It looks a little bit different. It matches the pages perfectly. Oh my gosh, that's maybe my favorite costume, Elvis. It was quite a spectacle, and as you can see in the story here, we took the music with us and played that fanfare music um, as we were waiting for the people to open their door. It can only be described as a spectacle. And when he got his candy, he said, thank you, thank you very much. Um, it was quite, it was a quite a fun Halloween. He was six years old. <laughs> This one, I don't even have any paper on. These are just stickers, it looks like, uh, that I used to create a border. Same thing here. I think I must have run out of the little paper that all match, so I'm doing something different there. Oh, no, this is my favorite costume. Um, this is Quint from the movie Jaws. <laughs> it was perfect, and my husband made the three. If you're a fan of the movie, you'll know what this is. My, perfect, my husband made these three barrels that um, we wanted to hold the candy so um they came from like walmart uh bottles water bottles and he painted them and aged them it was pretty amazing but that costume was spot on frankenstein eh, not my favorite but I, I like the suit it looks pretty good the makeup no not great but the page is nice you know it's pretty plain but you've got the story here Easiest Halloween ever. He wanted to be a soldier, and my husband, being retired military, had plenty of the, plenty of the uniforms. Oh no, this may be the best here. Um, this is obviously Smokey and the Bandit, and my husband was all too happy to be um, the Jackie Gleason character <laughs> in this Buber T. Justice, excuse me. And so for his candy. And we're getting old at this point. He's 13. <laughs> For his candy, we have an empty box of cores. And if you're a fan of the movie, you know why that's important. So, you know, this was getting pretty good. Oh, my goodness. I didn't do last year. Um, I really need to update this album because last year he was a perfect Dwight Schrute from The Office. Okay, last album. Now, this is actually not an 8x8. This one is so old. It's a 7x7. It's a size we don't sell anymore. Um, it's a really tiny little size album, but hey, it's what we had at the time. But this album is so important, and I will tell you why. This one's called My Family, and I did this for my son when he was 18 months old. We live a couple of hours from pretty much all of our family members, so he didn't get to see them on a regular basis like most kids get to see their family and their, their extended family, that is. So I wanted to create a little album for him, and this has been loved. It's got some stains on it. Some of the page protectors are torn or missing, but um, this was his little album, and I used a denim cover set. It was very durable. But, of course, it started with Nathaniel, Daddy and Mommy, and then we went to Mommy, Daddy, got that. But then we went to Grandparents, and let me show you these pages were so old. This was with a 7x7 seven seven kit, so really old school here. But again, it's just pretty simple. I added lots of stickers, and for this one, I added stickers based on maybe their interests, like my mom, flowers. I put these two chairs for my dad and stuff because he loved being at the lake. And then we have um, my husband's parents. Got a fire hydrant because he was a firefighter. Butterflies for Nana. And then two of his aunts, my sister, my husband's sister. And we have ice skates for her. We have a flute and a boom box because she was a teenager when, at that time. And she played the flute. So I just did stickers for everyone um, that made sense with them. But that's, you know, that's beside the point. The most important thing here is the name and the picture. And so he loved this little album. And he would look at it all the time. Again, he's 18 months old. And what this did for him, even the kitty, what this did for him was to let him know who his family was. And at that point, when he would start to see them, 
it wasn't like he didn't know them. He knew them at that point. This album was so impactful. I urge anyone with a small child to do one of these for them. It just was so important for him. Um, so yeah, this is one of my favorite albums right here because it just really changed his life. It helped him know who his family was, even though he didn't get to see them a whole lot. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you got some great ideas to create some 8x8 albums of your own. And let me know which one was your favorite that you saw here. Put it down in the comments. I'd love to know. So hopefully you got great ideas. And if you're a subscriber of my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate it. If you're not, be sure to hit that red subscribe button so you'll get all of my videos. Thanks again for watching and happy scrapbooking.